we're walking down this path and we're gonna go down. We're gonna jump off a cliff and there's a cave underneath and we're gonna swim around down there and see what we can spear. And then we're gonna come back and cook it up on the barbecue with pineapple planks. And it's gonna be another adventure. Do you wanna tell a little bit about the history, Abraham? This is Pua Onua Ohonao Lao. Very ancient uh, Hawaiian village, one of the first on the Big Island, matter of fact, so it dates back hundreds and hundreds of years. King Kamehameha himself used to live here. All of his sons, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, it goes on and on. We're gonna be walking right by a bunch of heiaus and areas where they used to live. And then back in these back in these times, there wasn't uh, you know pigs, goats, cows, horses. None of that was indigenous to these islands. All their diets basically was based on fruits, vegetables, taro, spread fruits, and what came from the ocean. So these villages tended to be a lot closer to the waters, and uh, you know when they were in large populations. So we'll be there. Here's some of the hails right over here, even. You can see some of these foundations are built with concrete which was brought in by the missionaries. The missionaries flooded the Hawaiian Islands in the 1800s and brought in the idea of, you know, concrete. So this would have been a little foundation for a school where they would teach missionary things, whatever that might be. I don't know. Well, you sure do look comfy. Taking a little pit stop. We've got a long trek. Uh, some rest in before I dive here. Doesn't get better. I'm making a little pit stop. Get a little bit of coconut. Try it. Looks like a butthole. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Oh, it's all warmed up. Mm, getting our well, antioxidants. When, when the coconut's a little older like this, it, has, it tastes a little more rich. The young ones are, they just all have a different taste, so. You can see there's like, the facing or the metal up right there. Pretty creepy. We're gonna we're gonna walk up here and we're gonna jump off and go diving out around here. So we made it to the top of the cave. We're gonna jump off and we're gonna go dive down underneath this cave and see what we can find. The water is beautiful out here right now. Absolutely amazing.
We just gotta like to get a little paprika on there, you know. Yeah. So we went to a local coffee shop. We saw flyers up for Jack Jack. 
Apparently his name's Jack Jack, not Ramiro. And they're asking if we could please bring him back. So we're gonna bring him back to uh, Ho'okena. That's where we're at here. Bye Jack Jack. We shaved him up real nice. We got rid of all of his ticks. He had a good vacation. We fed him ribeyes and lobster. So, he was, he was living good. We're gonna- He's dropping off Jack Jack. Right now. Here he goes. Here he goes. Let's tell these guys we want to go to the right here. And let's go see if there's other spots. Private road, no trespassing. <coughs> there he goes, Jack Jack. Here's the sign that was made. It says Jack Jack is missing. The children are heartbroken. Please bring him back home at Hoke Kenna Beach. Every local knows there's who he is. And that's spelled wrong. It's the, it just goes to show for his care that was taken of him. But poor, poor Romero. Now, yeah. what can you do? Look at we returned him back to his home, nice home. Nice and home. now he feels comfortable. And he just, he's tick and flea free now, so he should be a lot happier. And he won't be as hot because he doesn't have all the hair.